Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my 10 wardrobe essentials to build your wardrobe. So I decided to film this video because I was going through my closet the other day and I have so many clothes in my closet that they're cute and everything, but I just like never wear them. I stick to like my basic clothes and everything. So I decided to film a video for you guys of 10 wardrobe pieces that I can't live without and that also like help me build my closet because I could have like one shirt that I wear like 10 different ways with different pants and jeans and stuff and I'm just going to be showing you guys. So the 10 pieces that I'm going to be showing you guys, I really cannot live without. Also, all of these clothes will help you out that it looks like you have way more clothes when you're really just styling them a bunch of different ways. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to build your wardrobe and some of my closet essentials. So let's get into the video. So this might seem super basic, but the first pieces of clothing that I'm going to be talking about that is my first closet essential is t-shirts. So I used to not be into like t-shirts. I was always like a tank top girl, but recently I've been super into them because they're super cute and you can like tie them at the bottom and you can also wear them with so many different things. You can wear them with jean shorts, skirts, jeans. You can also dress them up and dress them down and stuff. So I'm just going to be showing you guys three of my favorite t-shirts. Obviously I have more, but these are just like my three basic essential ones so this is the first one and it's from zara and it's kind of cropped um i also like the high neckline so i probably wouldn't tie this on the bottom but you can wear this with jeans a skirt anything and it's white so it's super basic and goes with everything that i can always find something to wear with it i don't have to have like specific pants or specific shorts to wear with it literally anything goes so the next essential one is just this gray it's also cropped t-shirt from brandy melville and this one is a v-neck this one is so like cozy i can wear this with shorts, over a bathing suit, anything. And it's gray, so it also goes with everything. So the next t-shirt is just this red one, and this one is actually like distressed, it has holes in it. I think it's super cute, and I can also tie this one on the bottom, so it's a little bit longer, so it looks cute with leggings, jeans, anything works with these t-shirts. Okay, so my next closet essential that we're going into, which is, I honestly could not live without these, are a good pair of white sneakers. Mine are super dirty, but these white Air Force Ones, I literally live in. Obviously, I have more than one pair of white sneakers, but these are definitely my most worn because I can wear them with shorts, jeans, leggings, skirts, but these are super essential. I probably wear these shoes 95% of the time because they just go with everything and they're a perfect white sneaker. But definitely having a good white sneaker in your closet is such an essential because they just go with everything. Okay, so moving on to my next essential, which is my third essential in my closet, is just a good black crossbody bag. I feel like people think they need a really expensive bag, but literally any black crossbody will work. Mine is actually more expensive. I have some that aren't expensive, but this has just been my favorite lately, and I actually got this one for my birthday. It's from Gucci, but you do not need like a super expensive bag. You could literally go to Target and find a cute crossbody that looks pretty similar to this one. Okay, so now moving on into my fourth essential is definitely a belt. I love belts so much, they can definitely change an outfit and how it looks. This has been my favorite lately, it's just the star one from Brandy Melville. I like that it's thin, sometimes like thick belts on me, it looks too much because like I'm short and stuff. It looks like it's taking over the outfit, so I like to go with thinner belts sometimes. But this one's just from Brandy and they're super cheap, all their belts on there. And they also have thick ones if that's more of your style. But definitely a good closet essential is a belt because it could change an outfit and just like spice it up a little. Okay, so now moving into my fifth closet essential is tank tops. So I try to get different style ones or different color ones. So that way I can just put them with different outfits and it also looks like I have more in my closet. These two tank tops are different styles, but if I were to get them in the same color, they look so similar that it looks like I have the same thing. So definitely if you want to build your closet, get different colors and different styles. But yeah, these are such an essential. Okay, so moving on into my next closet essential, which this is probably the most essential thing in this whole entire like video i would say is jeans i live off of jeans 
I have way too many pairs of denim. So the other day when I was going through my closet, I was like, I really have to get rid of a lot of these jeans because they all look so similar. So something I suggest is if you're trying to build your wardrobe again, like this video is about, definitely try to get different styles of jeans. I know some pairs of jeans are more flattering on people. So maybe if you like skinny jeans and you think those are the most flattering on you, try to get different color washes or some with ribs, without ribs, because it looks like you have more. But something else I like doing is getting different styles of jeans. So for instance, I have a pair of really like boyfriend jeans. These are super cute and they just have a hole in like the knee area and they're super cute i love these these are more boyfriend style another pair i have is more skinny and these are super high-waisted and skinny and they're super flattering these another pair that i really like is a pair of girlfriend jeans and these are like girlfriend slash mom jeans i would say and yeah these are super cute but having different pairs of jeans looks like you have more of them and also there's more stuff to put it with so i definitely suggest trying out different pairs of jeans or different styles so yeah okay so now moving on into my next closet essential is definitely a pair of good shorts um i have a pair of just white and black here and my favorite are from Pistola. They are a little bit pricey, but they're super flattering on and super comfortable. If you don't live where it's warm and like you have nowhere to wear shorts to, I would just try to have one pair of good shorts in your closet because if you're ever on vacation or something, it's really important to have shorts. So yeah, these are two of my favorite and they're just black and white from Pistola. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys for my next closet essential is jackets. Even though I do live in Florida and it's never really cold, it's always cute to put a jacket over something. So one of my favorites is just a jean jacket or a leather jacket. It's really cute if you're going out at night and you need a little something to put over it. And you can just style it a bunch of different ways. So it's definitely an essential in my closet. Okay, so my next closet essential, which I have way too many of. I was going through my closet a couple days ago. I literally had a whole drawer dedicated to different tube tops. I have so many. Um, I wouldn't say you should have as many as I have, but they're definitely really good staples because you can wear them with literally anything. You can dress them up, dress them down, and they're so cute. So some of my favorites are from Urban Outfitters and Brandy Melville. Any type of tube top you can think of i definitely own it i have way too many but um i try to get like different styled ones and different color ones so it's not like all the same but i love tube tops because i can wear them with everything my last closet essential my 10th closet essential that i'm going to be showing you guys is two piece sets and rompers i love these because you can literally wear them and not have to think about what you're wearing you don't have to pick a bottom or a top because it's just a set i love this tie-dye one i think it's super cute you can wear it anywhere also i love little skirts like this i have a matching top to it i think this is so cute and it's super comfortable and i never have to worry about finding a top to wear with it because it's a set and also the same thing with rompers if i ever have to pack clothes or anything like that to wear later on i always bring a set or a romper because that way i know i won't forget anything like to bring with it because it's super simple and will literally go with anything because you just need like the one piece of clothing you don't have to find a pair of bottoms or anything like that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and got some inspiration out of this i hope this video helped you guys out if you're looking for clothing to build your wardrobe and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe if you like more sit down videos like this and me talking about fashion and stuff like that please let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye